guys, thanks for coming today, um, for listening to me speak. Uh, my name is John Rittsberg, I'm from Middletown, Maryland, which is about an hour north of DC, you guys know that. Um, I'm a junior, math major, and computer science minor. Uh, some of my interests include soccer, music, and computers. Uh, soccer, I played three years here at Eastern, four years in high school, I started when I was three years old. So it's kind of been a part of my life ever since I was little. Um, something that I was able to bond with my dad with since he was my coach since I was three till I was in ninth grade. Um, music, I just love listening to music. I like almost every um, different genre of music besides maybe country. Um, computers, that's what I want to do in my life. I want to go to computer science grad school, work with computers. I love building computers. Uh, I actually built my first computer this summer. Uh, experiences in Eastern. Um, one thing that I found really cool about Eastern was how close you can be with your professors. Um, most of my math major classes have seven to ten kids in each class, so um, you can develop a really good relationship with each teacher. Um, I found out that my one teacher, Dr. Adele, used to be a bodybuilder, and I like lifting, and that's something uh, I think it made us closer. And uh, my other teacher, Dr. McClellan, always hosts a uh, math party at their house every spring after we finish our classes. And I just found that that's like, a really fun thing to do and grow closer to my students and teachers outside of class. Um, most of my other good soccer or, uh, good experiences here at Eastern were with the soccer team. Um, some of the highlights would be beating and converting our rivals all three years so far since I've been here. Um, making the second team all conference last year and being speaking captain my, or this year. So I guess I use public speaking in that role. Um, some of my main values, well first and foremost I'm a Christian and that helps shape my thoughts and my actions every day. Um, Two phrases that help shape my life. Um, treat others how you want to be treated. Um, just some cliche, first grade, golden rule stuck with me. Um, it's just a really good thing, no matter where you are in life. Uh, the other thing that really impacted me was my high school basketball coach. Um, he was a really solid Christian guy. He would say, um, whatever you do, just give it your all. And he said one of the best insults you could ever have said to you is that you're a child. Because that's, you're doing something with all you have. Um, that just really stuck with me. Um, myself as a public speaker. Um, I used to be really shy and reserved as a kid. So I would rarely talk to other people. I would talk to my family and maybe two or three close friends and that's it. Um, soccer in the last around five years, I think, has helped me get on my show. Um, one thing that my, like every single coach that I went to for evaluations, either high school or college, would always say that my communication level was the lowest attribute about myself. So um, just having to improve on that, uh, which is something that I didn't think soccer even had to relate to, um, was really important. And uh, I think it's made me find my voice and I've become more confident as a person through that. Um, I don't usually public speak uh, formally. I can speak to like my teammates or um, in front of friends, but I don't usually speak in front of a structured audience. And I think I'm proficient at it, but I don't excel so in that field. Um, during my public speaking, I feel like I am powerful with my words and clear, but um, I feel like a lot lack eye contact and the clearness of my ideas sometimes. Um, in the future, I'm pursuing a grad school in computer science, and I feel like public speaking is important in that field because most of the people in that field uh, can be seen as like really weird, um, not social, behind the screen, and a lot of people, like when computers first came out, would just talk to their computer, but um, in the recent years, it's become really important just to interact with employers and clients 
and it's just something you need to have. And uh, people respect you when you're a powerful speaker. I know that from personal experience of uh, people that have spoken to me. And um, that's about it. So thank you guys for coming today.